Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to make a little review, unboxing and packaging of these babies here. Chanel sunglasses, yes. Uh, code is in the back, we're hiding it. It's underneath the barcode. Then you got Luxotica's coding. This is not boutique exclusive, which means you can get these at regular authorized Chanel retailers. Their code, the product model number would be uh, CH for Chanel or just no CH 5333 color 501 S8 3P SED 5714 I mean there's a lot of numbers there just like screenshot this if you're interested in this particular colorway these are polarized so let's have a look present from my mom so that's an interesting topic we'll get to it uh, in some time pretty soon as well so this is the package they come in, a very classic Chanel, the little bum-shaped bottom. There you have it. You open it up and they're black, so it's very hard to see. Let's take everything off. Where's the code? It's hidden. So there you have it. What I love about these uh, sunglasses is that they are straight on top, which is something Chanel didn't do from the 90s. So it's been a long, 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 long time that Chanel has kind of kept us waiting for these straight, full-on straight top shades, very reminiscent of the 90s, obviously. Um, if you look very close, probably not going to happen with the reflection. No, you can't really see. But anyway, every lens should have, and in this case it does, Chanel Polaroid inscription here and here. Apropos, uh, I promised this and I'm very glad to do so. Uh, shout out to Fab Chanel 81. I hope that's how we pronounce your channel because I always imagine like fabulous Chanel. So Fab Chanel 81. Check her channel out. She has a, a great Louis Vuitton and Chanel collection, bag collection, and also she's really new to YouTube. So welcome to YouTube and uh, I hope you all give her, you know, a lot of love and support and go check her channel out. She's a very, very sweet lady and also knows a lot about bags, especially Louis Vuitton. So if you want any good tips on how to preserve them, you know, also what to purchase, tips and stuff like that, go check her channel out. And uh, she also asked me about the polarized, not polarized uh, logo on the glasses. It should, you know, I, I wrote you that in a comment already, but, um, or a private message, whatever it was. But yes, they should have the polarized uh, inscription on the lens. So good that you didn't go for it. You saved yourself a buck because you never know if they're going to be fake or not fake. Um, this is a particular acetate that has this uh, kind of wooden texture to it metal Chanel logo. On the inside you have the inscription of the code and everything. And then the other side you have made in Italy and polarized. This is kind of a mattified acetate. I can put them on. This is how they look on me. Hope you like it. I love this look. I mean, I just love everything where you kind of notice the eyebrow and uh, straight cut on top. It makes them just a bit Bridget Nielsen-y, but we love Bridget Nielsen, don't we? So there you have it. And of course, I have some makeup on, some eyeglasses, I have makeup on them, I have to clean them in a bit. But yes, now, since we are in the sunglass mode and covering up the eyes or not covering up the eyes, I have an interesting question from you guys in the little Murakami pouch today. What is it? Let's see. Truth or poker face? That's a really good question. And I actually got this some time ago and I kept it till now because um, I thought it has to be connected to sunglasses because, you know, a lot of people when they play poker, they kind of put sunglasses on so you don't see the reaction of their eyes so they kind of hide and conceal the truth. But I take this question a bit more deep or deeper, uh, meaning not just when you play a game, but also in real life. It's so hot in here. I'm melting. Sorry, guys. Um... I'm always for the truth. Most people out there are going to look into your face and they're going to lie to your face about how you look, about what they feel about you. Then they're going to say shit about you behind your back. That's disgusting. And this just because they want to preserve themselves. And God knows, to be euphemistic about it, I got 99% of those bitches around me, unfortunately. And 
Even more unfortunate is the fact that when somebody like me has the decency and the respect towards the other person to say the truth, to speak their mind openly, also to help the person, usually that type of person that does speak the truth is the type of person that gets punished for it because people don't want to handle the truth. People don't want to know what you really think about them. They just want the lie. They want the poker face. Truth is liberating. It's freeing. Trust me on this. Be truthful, respectful to yourself and to the person in front of you. Always speak your mind on what you think. Do not be aggressive and an asshole. Say what you mean in a very nice way. Instigate conversation, not litigation. So the point is this. Um, if you guys ever meet me, be truthful to me. Say what you mean. Of course, be respectful, you know, comments like uh, you look like shit and stuff like that are not very respectful. You could say, hey, what's wrong with you? You're not looking your best today. That that brings the point very well across as well without using um, fecal matter in the subject, doesn't it? Unless, of course, you're lacking education, in which case I feel so sorry for you. I hope you get an education. Now, as far as truth or poker face goes, the only poker face I can tolerate and accept is while playing cards. If you're going to have a poker face with me while talking to me, let me tell you one thing. I have an extremely well-built sense of what a person is, which means I can sniff out immediately if somebody's honest and truthful to me and what their true intentions are. And uh, I respect so much when somebody speaks the truth in their mind. I, and I totally lack respect of those people who smile into your face, who make it appear as if all, all is fine when in, deep down inside they're burning and they just would like to slap you silly. Um, well, guess what? If you're keeping a poker face in front of me, I still know that you want to slap me deep down inside. So it ain't going to work. And most oftentimes I would call you out on that as well. So yes, truth, truth, truth all the way, independently from the fact or whether or not this makes people kind of dislike me when they know me. But those few, let me tell you this last thing, those few people that understand that this is actually a bonus and a plus in a friendship or an acquaintance relationship, those very, very few that cherish this, those are the ones that become my best friends. Those are the ones that enter my inner circle. That's my family. Everything else can go buy sunglasses. Love you all. Take care. Share this video if you liked it. Leave me comments in the comment section below. Up it, up it, thumb it, thumb it. And don't forget to subscribe. Love you. See you tomorrow. Take care, everybody.